What is up everybody? Back here again with another training video and this time I am wearing some really really nice pants if I do say so myself. For this training solo quarantine video thingy whatever it is I end up doing in these videos I want to talk about rapier and dagger or more specifically rapier and offhand weapon because in many cases you wouldn't necessarily be using the dagger when you were using a rapier and if you had an offhand weapon sometimes you might be a cloak, a buckler, some really extreme circumstances, a rotella, or even just your hand as an offhand weapon, basically. Now, one of the important things to note is that all of these are actually basically used exactly the same. There might be subtle, slight variations depending on the weapon and the amount of uh, 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 geography, shall we say, that it takes up. As my great rapier teacher says all the time, You are unworthy! The way that you use your offhand to parry is the same way that you use a dagger, it's the same way that you use a buckler, you use a rotella, that you use a small child. But for the purposes of this video, I want to demonstrate the various different objects you can use as an offhand weapon when doing a rapier or dagger, quote unquote dagger, fight. This is something that might be a bit more difficult to practice at home, but I thankfully have a partner in crime here to help me practice this. It'd be nice if you had a partner, but if not, you can still go through the general motions holding whatever objects you want to use as a rapier and or a dagger, quote unquote. Guys, I can't believe this happened, but I was super lucky enough that he could answer my calls and make time to come here and practice with me. So everybody, I would like you to meet the Dread Pirate Roberts. I call him Rob for short. Gotta get in the mind of your enemy before you fight. A little stiff right now, you know, it was a long flight to get over here, you know, with the whole COVID thing and everything going on right now, but he still got enough limberness in his arm to uh, do some sword fighting with me. So let's get started. So the basic guard positions when you are doing your rapier and offhand weapon, at least according to most of the Italian fencing treatises, are these simple positions. You got this one, which is called terza, Pushing that thing off to the side, boom. You got quarta, boom. Pushing the thing off the other side. You got seconda, boom. Pushing the thing off that way. And then you got prima, which is doing that thingy. Now some of these may change depending on the offhand weapon that you're using. You know, if you have like a big old rotella, you're probably not gonna be going to terza or seconda, you know, just going like that. Or like that. So now let me show you how to do it with any object you want.
Yes, it's Jason Bourne. But no, I give.